Jump on my back Hold on tight Let's do it together Let's go for a ride Let's go for a ride Full Tower listeners, it is another Monday in Paris, but we're not in Paris, we're in the countryside because this is the honeymoon season and we're finally on it. Uh, hello and welcome to the show, lovely Lena, how you doing? Thank you, Mr. G. The lovely Lena has stuck, I'm afraid, it's, I'm, I'm going with it. Uh, well, you're running with it, and, it seems like. And anyone who's thinking, this doesn't sound like studio quality, if you're thinking that it doesn't sound like a, like the Fair usual enough. show, well, we're not in a studio. We're in, a, well, we're in kind of a studio. It's actually a studio <laughs> apartment. We're in a tiny little apartment in a town called courcel sur mer It's on the beach? It's right by one of the D-Day beaches. We're going to talk about this in a second. Uh, but we we're in some gulls. Yeah, we shut the window because the seagulls were too loud. But we're in <laughs> Normandy. We're in, I think we're in the department of Calvados. We are. We are. I checked. Uh, Calvados, which is still... Uh, running strong in my throat from the dinner that we had last night yeah, in I can feel Pouville. The, feel the burn. Yeah, that was a bit wild. Same kind of burn that I feel on my nose. From the sunburn. Sunburn mm. on my nose. I have gathered probably at least 15 freckles. Oh yeah, you turned freckly. <laughs> There's been a lot of uh, developments in this trip. But what, what we figured we'd do is we'd, we'd give you guys, instead of just telling you everything we've done, which could be maybe boring for you guys, we'd give you a list that we've written of 10 things we've learned about the countryside already and we've only been in it for about a week yeah so, we're fresh yeah we're fresh refreshment and if <laughs> if this is your first time <laughs> listening to the Eiffel Tower and you're on it, you're wondering what the heck am I listening to what was that song at the beginning whose voice is this let me just in fact I think you should turn it off more like oh my god <laughs> what was that song in the beginning oh my god who's this amazing host that- and an amazing lovely no friend <laughs> So just to backtrack from the beginning, I think we'll do this for the first couple of episodes of season four. But the music was from Slim and the Beast, uh, my favorite band in Europe. I noticed that they called the Eiffel Tower their favorite podcast in Europe. So I'm going to up. So right back at them. I think it's because I said they were my favorite Paris band. Anyway, that was a song they wrote (laughs) for this trip. We're going around France on a scooter. We were married about three or four weeks ago. My name is counting. (laughs) We don't know what day it is, to be honest. Uh, We've gone a bit loopy. Anyway, uh, it's... (laughs) It's Oliver G. I'm the host. I usually uh, live in Paris with Lena, who's my wife now. Yes. Previously fiancé, previously girlfriend. And we're traveling around the country in a big love heart shape. And the idea is every Monday, I've always done a podcast episode Monday on Monday, but we're going to give you a taste of the road. So far, so good? I think so. Right. So for you guys playing at home before we get into the list, these are the names of the town that we've stayed in. I've got it written down because we already kind of forgot. In order. Yeah. Uh, and we started on a Wednesday and today's on Monday. So yes. we, we stayed in Chantilly. A big shout out to Sue and Fred uh, with the courtyard. Oh, yeah. With the courtyard Beautiful. Chantilly. Beautiful. Listeners Check to the out. show. Hope you're listening, Susan. And it was <laughs> lovely to meet you. Uh, then we went to uh, passy sur eure Then we went to Bernay. Then saint Imer. And now we're in courcel sur mer So if you're following on the map, and I know some people do like to do it, especially during the walk shows, <laughs> which we're also going to talk about in a second, that's where we've been. And now here are the things that we've learned. So we'll, we'll whip through five of them. We'll have a little uh, break for Calvados, and then we'll do the last five. <laughs> so far, so good, Lena? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm pumped. Okay. So we've written number one, people are friendly. Yeah friendlier than this is a big number one actually because it's yeah it's palatable palatable palpable did it (laughs) did it take you by surprise that people are friendly no i mean no i guess it didn't but yes it must have because i'm thinking about it yeah so yes and no people like we we were walking i think what was happening is we were walking down we were staying in passy sur Eure, the amazing river Eure, Eure, which i've done a video on i'm gonna share it with you guys soon and uh, the hotel staff gave us directions to the lake which was about five minutes away and it was unmissable by the way it was pretty it was, easy it was a very small town and it's not very hard i think he said i think lake. he said walk down this road and turn left that's Until what he said you see the lake yeah <laughs> and then we walked about four minutes and we're taking it easy it was a beautiful sunny day and then we heard someone running out of breath behind us and we turned around and it was another staff member from the hotel and and she said oh oh i the, our co- my colleague said to turn left, but you actually have to turn right. Yeah. And we said, D- did you just 
Did you just did you run d- from your duty? <laughs> <laughs> but she did, and she came Not to she. help us out, and she was so lovely. And that was, and that's just one example mm. of the the loveliness of the people. Yeah, and people are waving from their windows. Yeah, as we people scooted are, past. Yeah. Oh, it's great. The, if the firemen were waving at us the in one little town. The firemen were waving. You missed. I it missed it, somehow. so we don't know if that they actually happened. Waved yeah. to one of us at yeah, least. Yeah, well, the fireman waved. I'm not going to you. mention <laughs> who that. No, but I one think, and was. we talked about it after the, we were in the hotel that people are friendly, and it's. I think a lot of people say that French people are rude, and we haven't. I think people that say that have been to Paris in a busy cafe and maybe taken so long on their order. Perhaps I'm not saying it's the customer's fault, but I'm just saying it's more of a misunderstanding, perhaps, because France, or at least this week that we spent in Normandy has absolutely proven the opposite. People Definitely. go out of their way to be friendly. But on to point two. On to point two. Waiters, waiters are slow. <laughs> waiters are slow. But they so care. <laughs> waiters are like slow, but they care. This. Yeah, but they care. So in, about in, I about think, what? <laughs> I, think pa- I think Parisian waiters are the best in the world. They're so attentive. They're so attentive. I think I said it before on the show. If you knock an ashtray or a plate of olives off the table... It feels like they could catch it before yeah, it hits the Matrix. ground. they got Matrix. they got Neo yeah, reflexes. Like Spider-Man crossed with yeah. Matrix. Yeah, yeah it's incredible. incredible. And they and they re- when you come in, they see you always. If you want the uh, the bill, the addition, and you just sort of... There's one of the goals. Do you hear it? <laughs> if you just glance in the direction of the waiter, they know that you want the well, bill. Well, they want you in and out as soon as possible mm. and they want your money. True. And it's a because really smoothly always, functioning yeah, system. Yeah, and it's always nice and it's always... It's just so efficient. Not so in the countryside. They don't really yeah. care. It seems like they don't care about doing it quickly. They're like, oh, I guess. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, they don't. They just sort of. At the restaurant we were in, in Trouville last night, some customers came in and they said, um, Yeah, we're two and we want to sit here. And it was a table for four. And the waiter said, oh, It's a table for four. It's not going to work like that. And the customers, this was all in French. They're all French. The customer said, Oh, we're leaving. And he goes, Well, why are you leaving? And they said, Well, we're going to leave. And they just left. And uh, everyone just got on with their business. And the manager came out and said, what happened? Oh, what? And everyone just moved on. In Paris, they would have said, yeah, sure, we're going to move the tables. You sit here. You sit here. Yeah. Not so. Not so in the countryside. No, they just, they relax. But they care. They do care. And they care so to the point that they try to change your order to what they think you should eat instead of what you think you should eat. I think that's what they're doing. Or Well, for example, last night... Or maybe they just want to up the... I don't know. I couldn't the, figure. I haven't figured that money, out yet. The bill. But the, I don't last know. night I ordered. Um, I ordered some salmon, and the the waitress said, "Look, you can get salmon all over the world." She's like, "It's delicious." It's de- but yeah, but have but you tried the bar B A R, which I think is uh, sea bass. Yeah, I think it's sea bass. I didn't check. I didn't look it up, and I said no. And she says, "Well, it's a specialty of the region. It's really fresh." I think she said it was the same price, and she said you should try it. And she goes, "The salmon's great." I mean, you can have the salmon. We have it. But she convinced me, and I had the dish that she suggested, and it was really good. And we've noticed that a lot. They care. And then at the end, they brought out some of this Calvados. We didn't um, order it. It was just a gift on the house. Yeah, and I forgot how strong it was. And I just, I, I, in my head, it was cider. And no. it was not cider. In my throat, it was not cider. Because <laughs> well, we had some cider <laughs> I before. Try, I kind of had, like, I was thirsty, so I had it in one gulp, and that was a big mistake. No, that was so, a big mistake. Yeah, I, I drove can still home, feel though. it. In a big zigzag. Well, I'm husky today. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to get through this. Point three. People... Now, this is a bit... Point this could be taken the wrong point way. Point. Uh, but people don't... Compared to Parisians... Was that a seagull or a child? We are in an Airbnb. It could yeah, be a child. Somewhere in between. Anyway, we'll leave it in. We'll leave sea it in. Child. This isn't studio <laughs> quality. And we, <laughs> and we apologize. Um, but by point three, people don't care as much as Parisians about the way they look. And I'm not saying it uh, in a bad way. No. This or a good a, way. This is one of these things that is like, how are you going to get yourself out of well, this take situation, it how you will. Oliver? People in the countryside, especially I, in the small... I'm just going to say, I did not write this point. No, I wrote this point. They yeah. don't care. In in <laughs> Paris, for example... I'm not only up to this one. <laughs> I wrote this one. In, in Paris, a lot of people wouldn't even go down to the local corner shop to get Maltesers if they're wearing their pajamas or wearing the clothes they'd wear around it's the house. It's true, actually. I have read countless uh, like blog entries or whatever, like magazine books, what just pieces about how French women do not, they're not 
they, they go don't go out in public sure. with their um, like sport clothes sure, sure. like gym it should be parisian women really yeah parisian because french, <laughs> french women do french women do and french men do chill clothes no they, they're comfortable in their body and they don't care if they're maybe a little bit overweight they don't mind no. and they, they're quite happy to walk it's around nice, uh, in flip-flops and uh, relaxed. yeah and i think it's it, to some extent it's really refreshing i think it is to i think it's nice yeah because you can relax you can be yourself exactly you can be yourself and you know who are you going to be if you can't be yourself well said Lena. thank you point four there are many secret jewels and what I mean by that isn't the uh, the, <laughs> the Versailles kind of jewels. I mean, uh, there are a lot of places that we've found. I mean lots because we... I don't know if I explained it at the start. We've, we're scooting and we're taking the back roads. We're not allowed on the motorways by law, which means we pick the slowest uh, direction on, on Google Maps. Yeah, uh, exactly. And we're going through lots of towns of which we know nothing about. We go through maybe 20, 30 towns every every uh, villages every yeah sometimes they just yeah they're connected to each other it's Mm. like a long village road and many of them are forgettable they Mm. all have nice town halls they're all very beige with a lot of flowers sure and And we're going to get to those flowers in another point Mm -hmm. um but one thing where we've noticed is like the other night we stayed in a town called a village called bernay b-e-r-n-a-y and we didn't know anything about it. it was just conveniently between two places that we wanted to be and it was absolutely stunning. It was like the best. Yeah, it's a fairy tale. Beautiful fairy tale, uh, timbered. You know, with yeah, the I timber cross it's building. Called, that they, style. I think we took. But the, it's like Hansel and Gretel kind of. If you're on your style. phone now and you're on Instagram, it might still be on Instagram stories. Go on at the Earful Tower and find them. Even better still, this is a shout out. Uh, we don't have sponsors. We don't have mattress ads on this show. We have <laughs> Patreon supporters. So I'm going to do my first shout out. This village was so nice and had such good internet that I that I turned <laughs> on the G, guys. yeah 4G it's rare. Yeah. I turned on my my phone, put it on the stabilizer, and Lena and I did a walk around the town. And uh, a lot of people tuned in because it was a good time for Americans, I think. And we just did this huge loop around this beautiful timbered town. Uh, so if you're on Patreon, ten dollars a month, that's how we're filling up the petrol because mm. I don't have a job back in Paris to go to. This is my job, almost at minimum wage. Sign up. Especially, especially all you guys that keep messaging me saying, oh, I'm going to sign up. I keep meaning to. Now's the time to do it. <laughs> Go and check out Bernay. Fill the tank. Yeah, help fill the tank. By the way, we've only filled the tank the, filled the tank three times. Yeah. Four times and we've done 400 kilometers. Yeah, it lasts a long time. Yeah, yeah, so you'll feel good if you sign Pretty up. Pretty efficient. But the point is, transport. we didn't know what Bernay was. We'd never heard it and we picked it just because of its location. And we were gobsmacked. We were we were like abs- like we were yeah. lost for words and it was brilliant so, so if you're ever in that part of France in Normandy go and check out uh, one of the secret jewels and a lot of I, I'm not sure about uh, if you're going to mention this later but uh, it was really interesting because a lot of the information on the like the plaques oh that was going to be on one of my wall. points but I think I have to write it okay, down okay well this is like a side point then yeah. <laughs> it's like a 4.2 4. 4. 4.4 4B yeah 4B 4 biz. Uh, it's um <laughs> Four yeah, biz, by the way. If you don't, if anyone doesn't get oh, that yeah, joke, that a lot sense. of uh, apartments in Paris, you'll have number one, and then right next to it, for some reason, it's not number two or number three. It's just one biz, yeah. B I S. And, and it can be a lot of bizzes. Yeah, there's a lot it's of bizzes. It's very bizzes. confusing. The biz is like I don't know the business with the biz. No, neither do no. I. We tend to mind our own biz. Anyways, what were <laughs> I think we were talking <laughs> we're about talking how there was about. a lot of English. Yeah, so there were a lot of the, the plaques, like describing the history of the the city or whatever monument it might have been it was in french obviously like it would have been in paris as well but also in english which which, which stu- stood out to us because the population of bernay so was 7000 or something yeah. maximum and in paris the biggest tourist city in the entire world had very very often and uh, i often pointed out it doesn't have signs in english no which i always found weird i know some listeners have messaged me before and said it's france and i get that but even but Ernest Hemingway's when you house. When something like Bernay. And yeah, it and Bernay's doing it, yeah. Signs. It's weird, isn't it? But yeah, uh, do you remember that? interesting. I remember taking a picture of Ernest Hemingway's house in Montmartre. Uh, not Montmartre, in... Um, Marais? No, the other side. Where is it? Plus Monge or whatever it is. Mouffetard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a quote of his written in French under the doorway where he used to live. And so they've translated it into French, but they don't have it in English underneath. Mm. And I always thought that was weird because he, yeah. w- he was an American... 
author. Anyway, anyway. Bernay in English.、Mm. Uh, we're gonna have a little pause for some Calvados. And also, I'm gonna get the sand out of my hair. <laughs> okay,、and、it keeps、we'll, dripping on we'll me, leave, and it's annoying. We'll leave you with a little taste of、uh, that song from Slim and the Beast that we still can't get enough of, and、yeah. we'll be back with the other five、Jam、points. Jam away, guys. And that was Slim and the Beast, a song that's been in both of our heads for a while. We didn't have the Calvados. I'm not gonna lie to you. We had a little look around. We have some tea. We don't have Calvados in the room.、No. In the studio in Paris, there's always Calvados. What、uh, are you like? <laughs> Calvados. Yeah, you've got to remember, some people maybe don't have never heard of Calvados before. Calvados. I actually thought、Spanish. it was Spanish. Yeah, but it's a, a very strong drink made made from cider in this very region.、Maybe、so we gotta find apple. Yeah, I meant to say apple. Yes. Yeah, because、uh, you can I, have pear cider. That's true. Maybe I did have a little Calvados when you were looking around. <laughs>、uh, but what we did have was a discussion, and we decided four B, the point we said about English, is actually going to be point five because、yeah. that was meant to be in there. So four biz, four biz, five, <laughs> <laughs> like it should be in the Paris apartments anyway. Exactement. Yes.、Uh, and we're going to get on with point six, which is I didn't even know about this, but I did post it on Facebook right before we left. There's a thing called the Those gulls. I hope you guys at home can hear those gulls. It could be like we can pretend it's a laughter track. <laughs> <laughs> you know that they're laughing at our jokes.、Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I'm gonna they, go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that.、Yeah. Wherever you're listening from. Anyway, we've got、yeah. a laughter track. We're sitting in、uh, an Airbnb in Calvados, and we're at point Don't six. Don't advertise Airbnb. We are sitting in a B and B. No, that's something of the air variety. Well, we've so far we've done all the accommodation we've been doing has been different. Before I get to point six. We had a hotel that was booked through a listener who had a lot of hotel frequent flyer points.、Mm. So it was a proper hotel, really nice, Bel Ami in Normandy, amazing staff.、Oh, We stayed、best. in a, a sort of cottage, which we mentioned before, the、yeah. Courtyard Chanty, and then we stayed in this converted cider press Airbnb yeah, thing that we found. Yeah, it was like a beautiful farmhouse. And you know, you, press. it got me thinking.、Uh, Something. A listener who's been on the show before, Clovis, gave us a wedding gift. There's this cool website called. It's in French, but it's called Ansolite, which means offbeat, like Ansolite places to stay, offbeat places to stay.、Mm. And he and there's something like a thousand of them around Paris. So they're like, what's、around、it called? Around France. Around France. So it's <laughs> they're called. France is not bad. I know, just bad. I know. I always do that. <laughs> but it's called like like you know a yurt. Is that what it is? A like yurt. a Mongolian、yes. yurt. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, one of those tents. Yeah, or a tree house, or a converted、mm-hmm. train. And and the way he's booked it is that you can. Look up any in France and stay there. And yeah, so, so it's like a gift card. Yeah, it was a really great gift. So if anyone out there, some people have been messaging saying、uh, they want to send in a gift. There's、yeah. an idea for you. Give us a yurt. Yeah, give us a yurt. Because <laughs> I would never book a yurt. No, But if I, I had that card, I would do it. Think of it. Anyway, thanks, Clovis. We、yes. will be getting to that.、It's、it seems、exciting. like most of them are in the south, though. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna, gonna hold six, up. Point six. Point six. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Is before I left, I posted on Facebook, which you should follow too, the Eiffel Tower, a picture of a map. Which had the official.、Uh, there's a, a thing called the plus beau village de France, the most beautiful villages in France. It, they need to fill a whole range of criteria, and they're mostly in the south as well. But there are a few dotted around in the north, and we found one,、mm, not on far. On the way. F- exactly, it's not far from Giverny, and it's called. I always get it wrong.、Yeah. Roche, La Roche, Guyon, Guyon, Gaillon. I can write it down later in the show notes. But it was a, a sort of cathedral. I think it was twelfth century, maybe twelfth century, sixteenth century. It's all there. We did a video yeah, of it. Yeah, I think it, it was twelfth century. It was built into a cliff、Castle. right on the Seine River, but way out of Paris. And、uh, yeah, the village in itself, like outside of the rock climbing <laughs> castle, <laughs> was beautiful、oh, as that, well. Yeah, it was and so, so many flowers and、uh, just very picturesque. And the internet was great there as well. And so we did another. That was another. The second or the f- the second walk show that we did, we just switched on the camera、oh, yeah. impromptu and、yeah. walked around. And so there's the second. That you can consider that the second ad for Patreon. If you <laughs> still haven't pressed pause and signed up, ten dollars a month, you would have seen that too. Plenty more to come as well. 
Mm. But the point is, besides the hidden jewels, there is a website if you're traveling around France yourself, Le Plus Beau Village de France, and they've mapped out all these beautiful ones that we're going to check out more as we go further south. Point seven, things can be pricey. It sure can. I thought everything that was pricey in France was in Paris. Yeah, that has turned out not to be true. Wrong. Because... We well, first noticed it on day one. Yeah. When we went Chantilly. into Chantilly and we went into the castle. Fantastic. Beautiful. Did a walk show there as well. Fantastic. I'm not going to mention it, but we went into the great stables with the yeah. staff and they took us behind the scenes. All on Patreon, all on Patreon. But uh, we went afterwards and we had some Chantilly cream. And I was thinking... In the castle grounds. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Because that's Beautiful. allegedly where it's made. Mm. Tasted delicious. Nine euros, though, per person. For an ice cream. Yeah, with some cream. Well, ice cream ice with cream. and cream. What would you, what would you have uh, said it was worth? I mean, yeah. Five? Five. Five per person? Five is five? I was thinking 455, yeah. 455, five? And then, we, and then we, went into, yeah. we were in Deauville, where made famous by aristocrats from Paris and, and England in yesteryear, and Coco yeah. Chanel. I was, I was very curious. That was, was expensive, curious. too, wasn't it? It's very expensive. It reminded me of um, of Aspen. Aspen, yeah, yeah. It's interesting because, well, last year we did we did a road trip mm. through America in a car that time. We did a road trip. We went a lot quicker. Road trippers. Yeah, a lot quicker. Uh, but yeah, so we went uh, up in the Colorado mountains and through Aspen in the middle of summer. So it was also this like rich kind of village, mm. alpine-y. I don't know. For, for me, Deauville looked a bit alpine. And for, for, yeah, definitely. And it just had the same kind of vibe. Or like maybe Aspen looks like Deauville. Maybe, yeah. I that. mean, of course, it could be the, the other way around. For us, though, on a shoestring budget, staying in converted cider presses, Deauville was a bit too expensive. It was a bit too expensive, but we went into the big, nice hotel. We used to look. To, used <laughs> the <to> facilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used, and we parked out the front of it, which was yeah. pretty cool. Chatted uh, to next, the staff, yeah, like, yeah. Can, we pu- can we pull up here? Yeah, there was like year. Ferraris and Lamborghinis. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was yeah. a pretty cool part. But the yeah. point is, it's not just Paris that's pricey. Uh, there are pricier parts or equally sure. pricey. The touristy part. Yeah. Definitely. And I have a strong feeling we're going to sort of avoid touristy parts as well, we continue. I feel like, at least myself, I'm more, definitely more drawn to the not-so-touristy mm. villages and places. Spoiler alert, we didn't even go to Monet's Garden in Giverny. Please don't send hate mail, but we didn't do it. No, we didn't. Sorry, go on. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd been promoting a lot. We got near it, and we were... Uh, full disclosure, we were so exhausted after like the got, second day. Okay, we got ridiculously close we're, to we're it. We're driving a lot less now each day since we then. We were breathing Giverny air. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. We were much. so close we could smell the flowers. Yeah. And one of the hotel workers, he said he used to work there. He goes, do you love flowers? I was like, yeah, flowers are pretty good. He goes, unless you love flowers, save it for next time. So we're saving it for a day trip. Yeah. And we got some cool footage from this town, Passy Sur. Uh, but we've gone off topic again, Leah. Again. Uh, we're up to point eight, which is people simply have more time in rural France. They seem to have different clocks. For sure. It must be the only answer. And we've noticed it in bakeries, pharmacies. I had to get uh, headache tablets at one point. Yeah. And when we went to the, to the front of the queue, chat. everyone was chatting. The woman getting served next to us turned yeah, over. She and they got sta- involved. Yeah, they started asking what we're doing on our trip. And then, they were, you know, everyone was bon voyaging. And, uh, that was great. I really like it. People just have more time. and they seem, Just way more time. They seem to care more. Uh, and something you said in the walk show the other day was when we were in a really quiet restaurant, there were only two other couples in it. And as the other couples left the restaurant, <laughs> separately of one another, they both said uh, bon appetit and au revoir to us, mm. even though we'd not talked. Because people are friendly and they've got time and they want to get yeah. to know you. And it's really pleasant. Yeah, they're not rushing about. Just more time. And uh, point eight, no, point nine. We've got two more points. We're running quickly out of time. Yeah. Uh, people, this is one of yours. Oh. You've I don't even know what it is. It's here. It's people are proud of their villages. Yes. What I do you mean that? I thought that was quite a good one, actually. Because all the villages, they just seem so... They're really well kept. Mm. They, yeah, they have lots of flower arrangement, like public flower You're loving the flowers. Yeah, I do. Maybe yeah. I should have gone to yeah. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, no, but just, yeah, the public flower arrangement are spectacular, actually. Mm. It's over the top. I've never seen such 
abundant. Yeah, some of them just hanging from things oh, as you go so in nice. on the ground. And it's just, it's very clean. It's no graffiti. True. Except, people, in, yeah. uh, except one. We saw one tag that oh, was like yeah. all over one town. What was it? Uh, Shimmy. Shimmy. Yeah, I, you Shimmy know how you do? Busy. I did that episode of Finding <laughs> Mary that a lot of people write in about they liked on the podcast, season two at the end. I would have loved to have done a Finding Shimmy. <laughs> this tiny, tiny, tiny town. And there was one guy had written, or girl, mm-hmm. had written Shimmy everywhere. Graffiti. It's a shimmy. I loved it. Yeah. I would have loved to have done a documentary yeah. on Finding <laughs> Shimmy. Uh, okay. But, but yeah, but overall, very clean, very nice. It just seems like people are proud of, mm. of their villages. And uh, where a they little, live. It's a, really nice. An addition to the how we didn't go to Giverny is... Um, on this, while we're sharing a lot of this podcast with you guys and the videos and on Facebook and Instagram, I think a lot of people and a lot of other bloggers or podcasters or whatever have been to Giverny. It's very accessible. They've, uh, you know, these really popular places, Deauville, they've done I mean, a lot there of stuff on there. books and books and books yeah. written on the topics. I, I have guess, a strong so. feeling if you guys really uh, wanted to see Giverny, you can find it somewhere. But we're going to show you places. I tell you, there's not been a lot of podcasters <laughs> who've done an episode from Courcel sur Mer. <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now. And I hope if you're listening this far, you must be enjoying it. So we're going to get to point 10. Ooh, the uh, last. Which is fun. People don't switch to English like they do in Paris. Yes, that's a good point, actually. Even if they can maybe speak English here. Uh, I've noticed that in... Yeah, the level is about the same. Yeah, because yeah, I think if on the fir- in Paris, I often ask people, do you speak English? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I do it because my French is all right now, but as a habit, maybe. It's a habit. And I hear I haven't been doing it at all, and people tend to um, prefer to speak French, which makes. Yeah, and they, it, it's, I don't know. They don't do like the switch like almost aggressively. Exactly. Like in Paris, if you go they in. They force English upon you, and you're like, okay, well, I, yeah. I, I know I can get by with my French. Sure, it makes it really hard yeah, to improve. Yeah, but it's conversation. So, yeah, the like, only French I speak in Paris basically is like with the boulanger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like two croissants, s'il te plaît, because yeah, I'm doing Yeah, because you chew everybody. <laughs> but when, when we went That's into... Um, subject. No, but when, if you're in Paris often, and I think a lot of you listeners out there will uh, agree with this, is you go into a bar or whatever, you say, bonjour, je, uh, you know, on est deux pour manger. And they'll say, yes, certainly, come in here, sit with... And you know, mm. oh, well, I was doing my best. Mm. But here in the countryside... They seem to really appreciate you speaking the language. Yep. Yep, and well, then they trying. often get, and then they <laughs> ask, you know, where are you from? Oh, okay, I haven't had a Sweden and Australian yeah. in this uh, Airbnb before. Exactly, kind of thing. they're interested. And they want to know your story, to them. but in French, which is is very different. It's very refreshing, and I like it. Um, so I think we can finish on those points. I think it feels weird for us because the last episode we hadn't driven, and in this episode we haven't really talked about the driving and mm. this bit about us getting tired and where this we've been staying. List. This was an intro list. Uh, let us know what you think. I'm going to read a comment, um, but that's the end of the list. Should I play a little bit more music? You still got the song in your head? Oh, yeah. Hit the button. All right. Cobblestone black streets Walking back home Stopped at the market We're Back on the road was that was their song uh, go for a ride obviously we didn't hit a button because we're not in the studio i just said that we punched a pillow (laughs) (laughs) just wanted to hear a bit more of the song um did you like that video (laughs) lena and everybody out there that i did from shanti oh oliver i thought it was excellent i thought that was a good one and the film work the camera work you did a lot of the camera work we had drone footage yeah we've uh, we had a friend in paris who had access to a drone by the way i'm here to read a comment as I usually do at the end, but not from uh, iTunes review. It's a different kind. I'll get to that in a sec. But in Paris, we had a friend with a drone and we went just outside of Paris where it's legal and we did the drone footage <laughs> you might have seen in the start of the video. And we've got a whole bunch of it that I'll use throughout this trip. Uh, but once again, I'm going to say, if you're listening to this and you're somewhere in France and you want to meet us along the way and you got a drone, just send me that message because I've been climbing, tr- I've, <laughs> I've been climbing trees to get footage and it's not safe. It's not safe, but it looks good. It looks very cool. I've got a fun video with this footage coming up for it's you. It's too real. Uh, for <laughs> Guys, it's too real. If you like video, I know you're podcast listeners, but please subscribe on YouTube to the Earful Tower because there's some treats coming up. But for the comment today, it's actually from uh, one of the videos that we did, the Patreon vid- vid- videos in the villages, <laughs> the village videos <laughs> walk show. And it's from a previous guest of the show, 
uh, French girl in Seattle, Veronique, who I know she listens to the podcast and she is also a Patreon subscriber supporting the show. Best of the best. Creme de la creme. Creme de la creme de Chantilly. Yeah. Veronique. Uh, <laughs> so we can thank you, Veronique, today for the petrol. I think that we filled up that yeah. was on you big thank you thanks for your support and as a thank you I'm going to read out one of your comments from the video that we did walking through Bernay because it made me smile uh, after <laughs> I read it afterwards you wrote uh, you two are so cute you're like two Parisians who head out to the Provence which means the, the countryside Provence for the first time and you can't believe how beautiful everything is but this is just the start of Normandy and the real France prepare to get impressed well, I am excited because that just means that there's lots more to come. There's a lot more to come. Thanks for the comment, Veronique. And uh, I'm glad that we amuse you as two uh, <laughs> faux Parisians out in the countryside. But that's what it feels <laughs> Trying our best. That's what it feels like. I was filming a butterfly for about, for about uh, four minutes the other one. day. One. Try about yeah. 15. I'm obsessed. I said in the past episode I wanted to see some uh, animals. Yeah, we've been picking berries. We've, been, we've seen ponies, horses, cows, yeah. frogs. Fish. Oh, it's exciting. We really the are. Flora and the fauna. Yeah. Is it fauna? Yeah. Fauna. Fauna. In Swedish, it's flora or fauna. Oh. Yeah. It works in, it kind of works in it English. It kind of works. I wonder what is it is in Latin? French. Flora et fauna. Flora et fauna. But we are, we've got a, uh, uh, we're hungry. Hungry for this countryside and we're eating it up. And also hungry for dinner, actually. <laughs> which is a good segue into what we're going to do. So thanks for listening. If you've got tips for things we should see in France, we're doing the love heart. We've, we've completed quite a bit of it. We've yeah. completed the, the top left we're, bit we're of it. We're on the peak. We're, yeah, we're kind of going down. In fact, that's exact. Tomorrow we're oh, going no. down. Are we peaking? <laughs> we peaked. I think we, we peaked. <laughs> we, peaked. <laughs> we peaked at Finding Mary and uh, yeah. the crocodile hunting episode. It's all been downhill since then. But we're having a good time. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Uh, even if that's by listening if you've got tips send them in for where we should go if you've got a place we can stay if you if you send in a uh, or I have an idea shoot. if you have a challenge for us because Ooh. we do have a friend a Parisian friend his name is David he doesn't listen he you doesn't. can say what you want okay David but he likes he, he follows on Instagram <laughs> and he and he, uh, he uh, gave us a list of challenges yeah, one that of them, he wanted us to complete so that could them, be something one funny one of them was to hug a I don't know the word in English I didn't know the word in French runestone it's like a runestone it's like a the thing that Obelix carries around in Asterix and Obelix you know the big yeah, thing he carries on his back like a big stone yeah he, his challenge was to to hug one of them in a picture for him <laughs> uh, so if you get a challenge send it along yeah. uh, if you want to support the show I know I say it a lot but guys this is my job we're so close on Patreon to me hitting the minimum wage which is going to result in a party because it means that the Eiffel Tower has become a job we're just a couple of Patreon supporters away so if you've been thinking about doing it do it now and join in all the live videos that we're going to be doing um, otherwise enjoy the podcasts and the videos and the Facebook footage and uh, yeah, and the Instagram, Twitter. Instagram who, who uses Twitter anymore? I don't know. You never did, did you? Pigeon, dove. <laughs> no, I see what you did. There. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we need some Calvados. <laughs> We're gonna go out into the uh, into the you know Calvados region. The wild. It's and not actually that wild. See what we can find. And then uh, for you guys following at home, we're heading down through Bayeux tapestries. Yep. And tomorrow, onwards maybe? tomorrow, I think. And then onwards to Saint Brieuc, where we're gonna find find and fine and foxy fabian mm. and we're going to be flipping gallets with him before heading south and exploring more enjoy the trip uh send your emails love reading them uh and uh well yeah that's have, it for today maybe. have a great week wherever you are and you, and you bon appetit us <laughs> i must be hungry <laughs> bye guys bye